Okay, so finally have these tag trailers all finished up. Turned out what I think is really nice anyways. Ronnie, you did a great job on the powder coat. It's beautiful. Finished out a little different these trailers. Anybody's watched the previous video that I shot before they went to powder coat. Um, you know that the one in the back here has some smaller tires on it and uh, has hydraulic cylinders in it that are just going to be used as uh, shock absorbers pretty much. And this one out front here has uh, Actonix um, actuators in it. I'll put a link in the description as to which ones I used or whatever. They're, uh, I believe they're uh, L12, 30, 210s, whatever, the S models. I don't use the R models because um, they always want to go to center like a servo so these ones here they require a speed control which is kind of a pain in the ass I guess but they'll stop more wherever you want them to stop so it's kind of nice but um, anyway the deck uh, has a tilting function on this one it does go slightly past ground level on flat so if it's a you're on a bit of a slope or whatever there's a lump or whatever you parked on it should still uh, end up dropping the tail pan on the ground. And under here we got some of uh, True Scales uh, Russ's uh, tail lights in the back. None of this stuff is lit. They're in and both trailers are finished the same in the ass end here. And this one has some amber amber lights down the side. Those are the D-rings that I made. Uh, do flip up. They're a bit stiff right now because they got powder coat on them, but they'll free up. Anyways, Ooh. they turned out pretty good. It takes me forever to make them because they're all handmade, just like everything, but they look alright. You can buy them, but nice cast ones, but they're quite large. They don't really fit the scale very well so I prefer to make my own as much as it's pain in the ass. And this one has a manual jack on the front. The jack handle is actually just a pin so it has two positions up and down. And we get, uh, bumpers there that made a pintle hitch and receiver for this one. And um, yeah, It's not as scale looking the pintle hitches that I make but the they're super easy to use and they won't come undone. Also made some little tiny hooks here. Chain hooks or whatever. Yesterday. So anyways, made those for both trailers. So anyway, they don't look super super perfect or anything, but not bad considering they're all hand uh, hand cut and filed <laughs> but um, this one's uh, just got another V bumper going with it I think John is going to mount his pintle hitch to it that mates up to this pintle ring so it should be good and um, yeah anyway they come along quite nicely I think looking good they should carry a fair amount of weight without any issues they're on walking beams so there's Plenty of uh, plenty of suspension travel. Well, that, this one has a little bit more, even because of the tire size being smaller. It, this actually uh, hits the frame before the tire touches the deck, whereas this one here actually it will will rub on on, on the underside of the wood. But all right, they both have mud flaps on the back sides. Hard to see, but they're there. Um, yeah, what else is there to show? Okay, well. This is approximately between 15 and 16 pounds of lead acid batteries. So, let's see if I got this in the right direction or not. Nope, of course not. Never do. Anyway, so the actuators lift that without too much trouble. And you keep in mind that that's all ahead of the pivot point, too. If you have some sort of machine on there that's heavier than this, it, some of that weight would be distributed behind the pivot point, so it should actually help balance the deck out and make it easier to lift so 
I think that's a pretty acceptable layer or whatever. If you're towing around something that's somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds behind your truck and you're on dirt, you're probably going to get stuck anyway. So should be good. Average little brooder excavator conversion or whatever is probably going to be well under 20 pounds. So I think it'll be just fine. Anyways, that's the update. I might uh, pull the pickup out of the shop here and go for a little burn with the, one of the trucks towing one of these things here just to shoot another video, but we'll see if it's raining out and I don't want everything to get wet. So we'll see how it goes. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I gotta uh, bag these up, box these up now and then finish up the dump bed that was on there. It's coated as well, so I gotta assemble it and then uh, get another video up for it because it will be up for sale. So thanks for watching.